I'm Kim Von Coles and I live here in Glastonbury and I'm the curator and facilitator of the Glastonbury Mural Trail. The reason I got involved with the Mural Trail was um, I live here myself and a few other local artists um, there were some murals that we'd all painted around the town and I the town clerk approached me because I'd made a map of the town and he asked if we could make a, a trail map to, to kind of mark out where these murals were so people who visited the town could find them and I said I would do it but only on the condition that we'd have the town's blessing and the council's blessing to create more murals and that's where the mural trail started in 2019. I ended up being a facilitator in the project really. Using my networking with businesses and through the Chamber of Commerce, we managed to attract the businesses to sponsor the murals. And then I also was friends with all the artists in Kim Von Coles and she was she did that side of things. She organized all the, the background of it, but I, what I did was gather the, the business momentum to, to make it happen. It was quite amazing because one of the uh, murals we had was painted by a fellow Canadian. She came over to paint the middle sponsored mural that's at the bottom of the high street. And it's probably the most, I think it's the most stunning, I might be biased, but, uh, but it was quite incredible that we had an international artist come over to paint that mural for us. Uh, the, the Buried Legends one was very much um, that Johnny, who commissioned it, said that he had this idea that he liked, he's a writer, so he said he wanted to go up the tour and ask people what it was that motivated them to be up there. But I thought about it and I thought, well, what would be nice would be sort of have the bottom half where all the stories that people have in their minds when they go up there about King Arthur being buried in the Tree of Life and goddesses and underneath as it were, in, in people's unconscious really. And then on the top, just people walking dogs and birds and sheep and stuff in the real world. So I just divided it in half. I wanted to see, well, how far can I take uh, the mural painting? Because unlike a lot of uh, uh, muralists who tend to use spray paint, I'm very strictly doing almost sort of a, an easel type painting. The Waving Woman, which much, much more broad brush strokes, there's big areas of colour, whereas this one is much more intense. I was actually working with a tiny brush to get all the detail work, but with this one you can go right up to it and you think I think you needed that degree of detail. Basically, Kim, who runs it, is very proactive in um, sourcing walls, uh, contacting local owners, getting artists together. And she'd had her eye on that wall for some time. And last October, it all came together. She managed to get funding. And the shop owners were overjoyed because it's basically given a little sort of focal point to that side of town. It's a joy to see some of these art pieces and some of them are just like, tremendous. This is sort of artwork that you might pay to go and see in an exhibition and it's on the walls free for everyone. I think it's a beautiful thing to have about. I think it's really great that art is accessible and available for everyone and I think it's fun for kids. It generates um, another level of interesting things happening here that, that people can enjoy. Mm -hmm.